Hi, this is Jim, your Ham Radio Elmer. Welcome to my radio room here in Rockland, California. I received an email a few minutes ago from Dave, KM6YSS, and the questions were so good that um, I just had to answer it, and it also lined up with uh, a special promotion on a nano VNA that happens beginning tomorrow. So these two kind of dovetailed. Let me first read... Um, Dave's email to me and it says hi Jim I'm hoping you can help me understand something I hear talk about impedance matching in regards to antennas how do I measure the ohm rating of my antenna is it a formula I mean if I use a multimeter to ohm out my dipole wires or my vertical antenna there's no significant reading they all read under one ohm point one to 0.5 depending on the length of the antenna. Same with my 50 ohm coax cable. Center feed to center feed is only a small ohm reading, less than one ohm on my multimeter. So when folks are talking about choosing the right balance or transformer, 49 to 1, 9 to 1, 1 to 1, I'm lost. Do you have a video to explain this for me? Thank you for your time, Dave. KM6YSS. I do, and as a matter of fact, this dovetails very closely with um, a device that I'm currently reviewing and has uh, uh, a sale going on right now. Let me show you what the device looks like. It is this guy. That is a Nano VNA2. I think it's actually 2.2. And while it looks intimidating, there are, are uh, programs, software out there that you can use in place of what's built in until you get a feel for how it works. So this is called a Nano VNA. The devices that look like caps at the bottom are coax connectors. One's a 50 ohm load, one's a short, one's an open, one's a double female. And there are some jumper cables and there's a stylus. Um, the Nano VNA, this one in particular is really good because it's a metal box and the other ones I had did not have a metal box and I broke them pretty quickly. Uh, they work great. So why do you have to use something like that? Why can't you use an ohmmeter? Because you're dealing with alternating current. You're dealing with alternating current. Because of that there is capacitive reactance and inductive reactance could be both, could be one or the other, could be zero, along with the uh, impedance of, of the device. The impedance itself could be made up of a couple of different things, could be purely resistive. Um, so those things can't be measured with a multimeter. It just can't be done. It's an alternating current. It is an impedance. It's complex. A lot going on. Think of the alternate current, it's plus, minus, plus, minus, plus, minus. It's 60 cycles for an AC cord at 14 million cycles on 20 meters. You may want to look at DX Engineering. They've got a broad selection of antenna analyzers. Here's just a few. Um, the Rig Expert, which is just a superb device. Uh, I've had the Comet one. In fact, I still have it. I use it all the time. I also have the MFJ259. Uh, I use that less frequently, but it's also a great device. And they have others. So you may want to peruse the, uh, the DX Engineering uh, website. Got a nice explanation of antenna analyzers. And as I said, a broad selection. All right. I hope that helps. 73 from Jim, W6LG. Thanks for sending in the question. And uh, if you have any other questions, so post that below. We'll, we all go from there. The 73. Bye-bye.